So we're cutting a very shiny wall covering. Something that uh, you should know when you're hanging a wall covering that almost looks like foil or gold. Your walls have to be perfect underneath. And so that's one thing. You can tell even if you press on this with your hands, you will depress the material and make a, a dent in it. And then it has to get smoothed out again. Now, your cuts are no different. And the dents just come out. Okay. So now, if you don't have a laser level, you're at a disadvantage. Because on a long cut like this, there's nothing on the wall covering to guide me to make a straight line. I could put a piece of tape on here that's guided by a level. But since I have a strong laser level, I have a green line here. This is what you want. This is how to make it right. So, we'll go ahead and do it. You're looking at a tool that I picked up from Advance. Okay, I think I got this in a hardware store. And um, perfect tool for these long cuts. Now, all I have to do is make sure that my laser level is correct. Once I line it up with my laser, I can, I can block it with my body. I don't need it for the moment, okay? Now, we're going through two wall coverings. We want to go nice and firm against the wallpaper. And I'll join my lines again by moving my body and continue. If at all possible, avoid taking the, the blade off of the wall covering. We have a ton of stuff in front of this wall that's blocking us from doing what we have to do here. Let's see how we did. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I think it's fair to say the most important thing is to make sure that Good you night, guys. Good night. Thank you. That you penetrate both layers of wall covering. It's a frightful thing when you feel when you realize that you didn't cut through deeply enough.
so easy does it. So far, so good. Now, as I'm wiping this, I can feel my seam. What that means is I'm overlapped, even though you can't see it. Well, you can, but you can barely see it. And so you gotta slide it over until you can no longer feel it. When you go across your seam like this, you'll feel one of the seams if it's a little raised. Common sense, right? When you don't feel it anymore, that's when you know you're right. Really beautiful stuff to work with. As a paper hanger, you develop a real passion for certain types of challenges in the business. And this is challenging because this has to be perfect. It's almost like cutting through aluminum foil and then trying not to see the cut line afterwards. So this is what I do to finish off a seam like this. I take my very smooth spatula and I bring it down at a 10 degree angle and just crisscross the seams. What that's doing is just bring the seams just less than a little bit less than a hairline together, just closer, you know? Go up the seam, down it. This is not a wall covering you would use a seam roller on. You do not want the track marks of a seam roller. It will look like a tractor trailer rolled over it. That's how sensitive this material would be to any impressions. Let me give you an example. I hate to do this, look. Now you can see that on your camera. That's how sensitive this sheen is to anything pressing on it. So now I gotta get rid of that. And you have the idea. Okay, now, this is the more challenging cut coming up. This is the one why I really did this video, this clip of the video anyway. What I'm doing here, this is a, an odd angle, okay? So a 90 degree angle, uh, this is what you call an obtuse angle. Okay, so it's not an easy angle. Your blade can slip and wiggle. And so there's only one way to get this done correctly. And that is use, using a laser. Okay, let's do that.
I'm checking my laser line because I almost didn't believe that it was plumb. <clears throat> Here's why, and this is why it's important to cut this particular seam correctly. My finger is in the corner. Perhaps you can't see it, but here it is in the corner. Now watch this. So I just checked my laser to make sure that it was correct because my laser line is in the corner in the middle. And then look at this, as it goes up, here's the corner over here, but here's my laser line. That's an inch away. If you cut your paper according to some of these irregular angles, you, it'll look pretty bad, okay? So we, we do things in right angles in wall covering. You don't, you don't start um, cutting according to the angles that are made on, on these walls and ceilings and stuff because a lot of times people don't take the time to do it right, okay? So we have to adjust to the less than, sometimes less than professional standards, and certainly always less than perfect standards, right? Nobody's perfect, but sometimes they're not even extremely professional. And this is one such case. We, our angle is literally off. The center of this angle goes from, at one point, from on the right to on the left being f practically a full inch off up there. But you won't be able to see it once this is cut straight. That's the point. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so far so good. If there's anything you take your time on with wallpaper, please let it be your cuts in these particular situations. Now I advise you not to do what I'm about to do. Don't take your knife off of the cut, but for safety reasons, I have to. Now, if you do do it, okay. If you do take it off, simply find your line. I'm gonna follow it down. Okay, I just saw where I stopped. I don't suggest you do this. Okay, I stopped right there. Okay, very good. Even for somebody who does this regularly, taking a knife off can leave you a very unsightly start and, and stop line. You don't want that if you can avoid it. <clears throat> And the idea being what we're doing here is creating a new corner essentially for the, for the store in that it'll give the illusion that there's a straight corner here because the wallpapers, there's two different wall coverings here.
Okay, let's see how we did that. Eight inches up from the floor, there will be a nice piece of woodwork. So, but the important thing is, is this line here. That's really my main concern. Now, when you're taking off your underlap, you don't want to stress the cut. In other words, if I struggle with it and I'm yanking on it, you could stretch the material ever so slightly, and then you'll have a hard time putting the seam back together. Go easy. If you fail to penetrate both layers, go up there and slice through it. Beautiful. I like it. Okay. Perfect. 